Hello students, today we are going to see about the practical problems which are based on composition scheme and uh, we will see about how the nature of problem will be there when it is asked for your exam paper. So that we are going to see. So let us start with the first problem. First is, let us see the question. Ganesh Limited a trading concern in Maharashtra is a registered dealer and he wants to opt for composition scheme. It furnishes you the following information for the year 1920. Are they eligible to opt for composition scheme? If yes, calculate their composition tax liability. That is SGST, it is 0.5 and CGST, it is 0.5%. The breakup of the suppliers are given below. So they have given the information how the supply is being done by Ganesh Limited. Intrastate supply of exempted goods to Mr. A is 30 lakhs. Then interest rate supply of taxable goods to Mr. B, it is at a rate of 12%, uh, tax rate 9,50,000. Interest rate supply again to Mr. C is 3,45,000. Value of inward supply on which tax is payable on RCM is 7 lakhs. Interest rate supply of taxable goods to Mr. C, tax rate at a rate of 18%, it is 10 lakhs. Now all the amounts are exclusive of GST. Now here you understand the thing, when it is exclusive you need not worry, you just have to calculate on this amount the concern rate. But if it is inclusive, then you will have to do the mathematical calculation because inclusive jab hota hai, that means tax ka amount is may included in that. But here they are exclusive, that means tax amount is not included in this, you have to calculate it separately. Okay, let us see the solution. Now since they are opting for composition scheme, we have to find the aggregate turnover. Because aggregate turnover se hi hume dek pata chalega ki composition scheme applicable ya eligible hai ki nahi. Okay. So first we will calculate the aggregate turnover. Abhi aggregate turnover mein kya included hai? Exempted goods hum lete hai. Yes, for the calculation of aggregate turnover. Taxable goods bhi lete hai. Thik hai. So ye dono taxable goods aayenge. Interest rate hai to sawal hi nahi. Value of inward supply on which the tax is payable on RCM. Yes, here it is a twist. RCM, hum reverse charge mechanism consider nahi karte. That means, ye 7 lakhs, lakhs hum log aggregate turnover mein nahi lenge. To hum kya kya cheeze lenge, what are we going to consider? We will consider interest rate supply of exempted goods to Mr. A. That was your number one, 13 lakhs. Then, interest rate supply of taxable goods to Mr. B. That is 9,50,000. Interest rate supply of taxable goods to Mr. C, 3,45,000. And interest rate supply of taxable goods to Mr. C, again it is, how much it is? It is 10 lakhs. So, here if you can see, we have not taken the reverse charge mechanism because in calculation of aggregate turnover, we don't consider the goods on which the tax is payable on RCM basis. Okay. So here the total value is 35 lakhs 95 thousand. So obviously it is uh, the aggregate turnover is 35 lakhs 95 thousand, which is less than the threshold limit of the competition levy that is 1.5 crore. And so they are eligible to opt for the scheme. 1.5 crore se niche hai to hum obviously competition scheme mein, that is uh, Ganesh Limited can surely opt. So your first answer is what they have asked. Are they eligible to opt for composition scheme? Yes, they are eligible to opt for composition scheme. Then what is the tax liability? They have given the tax liability 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Just as I have said, composition scheme is 1% or 5% is applicable. So, here 1% that is total tax liability which is divided as 0 0.5 CGST and 0 0.5 SGST. So, that will be done. 35,950 is 1%, usko hum ne divide kiya hai, so 17,975 will be CGST and 17,975 will be SGST. Value of inward supply on which tax is payable on RCM is not to be included, you can just write a note for that. So this was a problem based on the composition levy. Thank you and keep watching our upcoming sessions.